Alright guys. <laughs> oh fucking hell man. Where do I start? Where do I bloody start? Okay. I'm still in Bali. I was meant to be in Australia by now. Um <clears throat> got to the airport, waited in line, got to the check-in desk. First thing the guy says, you going to Darwin? I said yeah. He said, it's delayed. I said, okay. When? Three and a half hours. So it was delayed from 1 a.m. to 4.30 in the morning. He said, you've got an opportunity to check in your bags still. You can stay around the airport, you can leave the airport, you can do whatever you want. You just gotta be back here for your flight. I said, take my bags, I'm gonna go and lay down. He said, okay. So I checked in my bags. He gave me 30, uh, sorry, 300,000 rupiah of uh, vouchers for me to buy some food and drink. I said, thank you. I said, uh, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and so I went through immigration and sat down in the food court by my gate and bought a coffee and some food. I went for a quick look down at the gate. Nothing was happening. I went back to the food court, got my food, sat down. Did a little bit of Instagramming, uh, messaged some of you guys back, and um, at about 1.30 I decided to get up and go back to the gate and see what was up. Uh, because the airport was actually closing, and I was like, shit, okay, are these guys, do these guys close? Are they going to kick me out or something? Like, what's going on here? Anyway, as I was walking down, three guys start coming towards me, and they said, are you going to Darwin? I said, I think so. They said, no you're not. <laughs> Your flight's been cancelled, so you're not going at 4.30 in the morning, you're actually going at 8.20 tomorrow night. I said, great, what am I supposed to do now? They said, you're staying in the Novotel, which is about a minute's walk. Jetstar will put you up for the night, you can stay there until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, by which time your flight should be uh, uh, open for check-in. And um, right now I'm in my hotel room. They've just checked me in. I've got to say, I've got to say, it's not the most ideal thing, but I want to go to sleep and I'm going to be able to sleep properly in a proper bed tonight, which is music to my motherfucking ears, I've got to say. So this video, I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but it's going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a vlog, I suppose. I'll, I'll, I'll bring the camera out tomorrow morning. I've got breakfast. Uh, they're going to shout me lunch. Uh, I've got $10 US to spend on room service. Thank God for Jetstar's service, I suppose. Like, I've got to say, man, this was pretty good. They came and got me. I mean, obviously, I'm not the only one. Um, everyone that was catching that flight has been put up in a, in a hotel tonight. So I think there's probably like, I don't know, 50 or 60 passengers that have been checked in. Um, and I'm just one of them. So, yeah, that's my little story for tonight. And uh, I shall see you guys in the morning. I cannot wait to go to sleep. Thank God. Thank God. I didn't have to try and sleep in the airport, on the plane, and in my car. Because, man, I'm going to sleep like a fucking baby. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> We've got muffin on the face. Hey, guys. Look. Just checking in. I've had about five hours sleep. It's like ten in the morning. I'm I'm still still pretty tired. This was dark yesterday. Oh, true. I've got a view. Would you look at that? Not much of one, but still one. Uh listen, it's eleven o'clock, I'm still in Bali. The flight's at uh, eight twenty, like I told you last night. Now I sat on my computer all day yesterday, all day, and I'm not joking, the whole entire last day of the trip was spent editing, okay? I edited 13 videos. That took almost 13 hours, I'm not going to lie. 
what I didn't do was save them. So sometimes I'll, I'll put lots of clips in the editing suite, I'll edit them all up, put the intro in, outro, music, everything I need to, and then I'll save it as a draft. That means I can open it again, I can uh, select one of the portions of the video that I want to save, delete everything else, save it, go back, <clears throat> control, control C to go back, yeah I think it's, no 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 it's control, what is it, Z I think to go back. Uh, from there I'll uh, take the first one that I've saved off, bring up the second one, delete everything else, save it. I got up to my fourth one, I was able to save four before I left Bali. Last night when I checked in here I thought, fuck it, you know what, I'm going to push through. I'm going to stay up, I'm going to edit and save my final nine videos and then I'm going to go to sleep. Now that would have taken me hours, but regardless of that, I opened up the program and the draft is nowhere to be seen. It's gone. It's literally gone. And this has actually never happened to me before. So not only did I, I miss my flight, but I lost a whole day worth of editing. Now to some of you guys that might not, not seem like much, but to, to those of you that do edit videos um, or you know create content, to lose that is a huge, huge kick in the face. And it's times like that that you think, fuck this man, honestly fuck this shit. And you know stuff like that's happened before but on a smaller scale, but this was, this really affected me. So I went to sleep in the worst mood, I've woken up five hours later, I want to keep sleeping but my mind just will not switch off. When something like that happens I need to rectify it as fast as possible. And so I've got seven hours until I need to check out of here and that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm about to order uh, two iced coffees believe it or not because uh, the first one's going to go down an absolute treat and I want another one. And then I'm going to get back into this fucking editing so if you guys do see videos come out about my journey of Major Key Physiques. Uh, those ones are the ones I'm editing. If you see some come out about North Texas University, those ones are the ones I'm editing. And also a couple of uh, KTO videos. So with that said, I'd like to... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know man, I'm fucking... <sighs> I was so disappointed last night. But it's all good. You just get on with it. I'm still on holiday, I'm still in Bali, I can't complain, really. Can I? I don't know. I've got a nice hotel room to do it in. So anyways, uh, let's see here. What is, what is my room number? What, what's, the, what's the number that I have to call to even order this shit? It doesn't say. Oh, well I'm room 3109. Where the fuck, oh there it is. Okay. Two iced coffees, they've given me $10 US to put on the on the tab, which is uh, pretty good. Why is it not telling me? Please press in-room dining button. There we go. I've got a ringtone. Right, let's try again. It must be engaged. I'll try again in a minute. Alright guys, quick update. We've got the iced coffee. I've got another one over there, probably about an hour into editing. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better, okay? Don't worry. We're going to get through this. I'm going to edit all of the videos that I did yesterday. And whilst they're saving, I've had a brilliant idea to start my next big mission when it comes to this channel. The top 100 players of all time. You guys who've been around for a few months will know that I set off on a mission to, in the early days of this uh, reaction business, to react to the top 100 players of 2018, all of them, get them all done by the start of the, of the regular season. And I did it. It was a fucking mission, but I did it. So today, here in Bali, why not start my next big mission? I'm gonna start at 100, go down the list. I need videos, I want videos, to post over the period of like November, December, January and uh, I think this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to space them all out, I'm going to do one at a time, it's going to be a hundred videos, I hope you guys really enjoy, I have had a few requests to do this, um, there's most probably going to be a few videos that I've actually already done, but uh, it doesn't matter, I'm going to give you guys my unbiased, unfiltered, honest reaction as always, starting with number 100, very shortly, so I'll see you then. Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. 
and to the first of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 times 10, 100 videos you guys are going to see, 100. Oh, oh, right everybody, what is going on? We made it, the flight wasn't cancelled this time, we made it to Darwin, I've just had the worst time of my life trying to actually find my way out of Darwin. I was able to park my car at a mate's place, so I caught a taxi from the airport to the car. I had to get the car out of the place. I couldn't find my keys properly. I had a, a, a Bali SIM card, which I took out, but I couldn't, no, I didn't take it out. I tried to take it out, but I don't have a little pin to get the freaking SIM card out, so I couldn't put my Aussie card in, in which case I couldn't get my maps working, couldn't get internet working, didn't know how to get out of Darwin, now I have, it's 1.36 in the morning, I've just filled up my car, I'm at the petrol station, I'm going to pump up the tyres. I don't know if you guys saw the trip to Darwin, but I got a flat tyre and I do not want that happening again or else I will cry. And you guys will see me cry. So I'm feeling pretty tired, I just cannot wait, I, I just keep thinking man, I can't wait to see my daughter. It's been two weeks, or nearly two weeks, and she's like, you know, nine or ten months old. And so, even in such a small period of time, she grows so much. So I just cannot wait to see her. I'm going to have to take it easy, but at the same time, go as fast as possible because I don't want to fuck around. So I'm going to pump up my tyres and I will see you guys at Catherine, which will be my next stop to fill up the car. Peace. Oh my god, guys. Can't see shit, man. There's no fucking lights. Oh, my fucking ear's not working. Jesus Christ, man, you're gonna see me blow up. You're gonna see me absolutely blow up and explode if anything else goes wrong. I gotta get to Catherine. I gotta get on the road, man. Look at the fucking time. I'll never learn, man. I'll never learn. One saving grace, and one only. I've got the big Vs, so I'm gonna start drinking this. <laughs> I feel like crying, guys. I've got a 13 hour drive in front of me in this piece of shit car that doesn't want to go over 120 k's an hour. Wish me luck, that's all I can say. And if you ever wanted an idea of how far it is, that sign says 1,479 kilometers! <laughs>